How long have you been right. with this lady for? Uh, about a year now. Yeah, bro. Look, cool. man. You guys married? No. Then what you talking about kids for? <laughs> I mean... You, you see yeah, what I'm saying? Right. Look, man. You, you're, yeah. skipping, you're skipping steps, man. And when you skip steps and you have somebody that's um, 34 years old, she's a little hurt. Well, massively hurt. She lost a daughter. She doesn't really have a, a job, a stable job. And she feels like the, the time is running out on her. And she kind of wants to push you on it. It doesn't mean you got to yeah. act, bro. Because one, you're not married to this lady. Two, you're not financially stable for this lady. Because it's just not time. And three, you right. don't even got really nothing going on right now that to kind of say like, hey, I can have kids and everything's going to be fine. You, you see what I'm saying here? Right. So it's kind of like right. you, you got to be on the right path here. So say, hey, I know you want kids, but I can't have kids because I don't got no money. And I don't have right. any right. skills to make me a good amount of money to raise a family or yet alone to take care of myself. You can barely take exactly. care of yourself with $600 a month. Right. And I and I get that maybe you want to have kids because you feel like, for example, your chronological time is like about to expire or whatever. But it's not my time right now. Right. And by the way, uh, I think I read a statistic on that. Usually women, you know, after 40, it becomes a little harder, but it's not like, oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? But right, the idea is right. it's either patience or you're 25 years old. I don't want to say this. Right. You can find somebody else, though. I'm looking out for you. That's what I care about because you're calling me, so I'm telling you the truth. But I wouldn't yeah. start from that point of view. I would start off by saying, hey, start with love, right? So you're saying like, hey, um, whatever your name is, I love you. I care about you a lot. We've been with each other for a while now. Let's start, for example, thinking about actually getting married and make sure that we actually get together. But even before I have kids, I have to make sure, for example, that I'm actually stable. So that means I'm going to have to get a skill. The reason why all these things you've been trying before, for example, whether it's like this little thing right here with this little course or this thing right here, make money, is because a lot of those things are just short term. So if you want a real skill, you know, for a fact, you have trades, you also have, for example, businesses or you have, for example, college. If you become an electrician in the next two, four years, that's a job you can get forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars a year. Just like that. If you become a line man, that's eighty thousand, two hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year, even more. It's about getting a trade or getting a career. That's going to take time. And for you, every time, everything in your head is kind of like, oh, I got to make six figures by the end of this year because this lady wants some kids. That's none of your business, man. Yeah. You, you, you got you to gotta make sure that you have your skill down packed. You've got to stop.